Take him inside. Take him inside. Tuesday. Cool, cool. All right. Okay. Got it going? I've been waiting yep. for, uh, patiently for 40 years to grow my own legal medicine plant. I'm going to do that. I have done it this summer. The seed came from Wisconsin and it grew out naturally. A natural thing. So this is, uh, in the storm, she, kept, she grew, she was born. And in the tops. Yep, I know. <laughs> but there you go. Those are out of the way. Straight away, there you go. Careful, careful, not contracting. This has a root base. Do we zoom in on the buds? Wowzers. Yeah. Back out and get a whole pick of him. Hold it. Yep. There we go. Need more light? Nah, that's perfect. She yeah, you bring it out into the sun. I can't even. Get another shot of him. She, she smells good. She looks good. Let me see that. She has all the efforts of the woman. <laughs> yeah, it's right at the base. Pull it on off. Cool. <laughs> Pull back, give it a nice pick. Hold it up. It's a little, uh, little tree. Yeah, right? That's some fat nugs, though.
What are you doing? Huh? <laughs> what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Alright, so I picked up this, uh, what is it, a 91 Jetta for um, 350 bucks. And uh, yeah, so pulling out all the awesome sub wiring. And uh, yeah, you want to see how awesome the ghetto does $146,000, bucks. Anyway, uh, this is how ghetto. The install on this radio was so I see the magical little antenna right and I start pulling and 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 pulling and, pulling and, pulling and, pulling. and fucking it's the five dollar shitty rubber bendable antenna from AutoZone just I mean fucking crammed into the dash behind where the stereo went and I'm kind of curious as to uh, how it sounded I mean shit it's it's gotta work to some degree uh, yeah so yeah more of the uh, Jetta soon on a side note if anyone notices the reduced wide angle and video quality or sound quality it's because my, um, oh, this is so hard to do one-handed, because I don't have my GoPro. Uh, ah, I picked it up, as you saw the previous episodes on trade. Is that a freaking, uh, a security bypass ignition module? Dude, these are like 80s anti-theft so two wires up here I'll get back to the GoPro in a second um, the two wires up here that run to your key that when the key tries to start the motor those wires are cut and people charge money for this this is like 250 bucks for this little module and this key that literally it only connects, you know, the left side. Oh, this is so hard to do one-handed. Anyway, see how this thing plugs in? This plugs into it, I'm gonna just do it. And when it's plugged in, it allows power to go to the starter. And what you were supposed to do is when you got out of the car, you took this with you, and people could try and stab the key with a screwdriver all they wanted, but juice would never go through this thing. Um, but these would get corroded, people would lose the key, clearly. I bypassed a lot of these for a lot of people. But what happens is it's just two wires going up there and blocking off the signal and then it lets the two wires go back and somebody even just got rid of it. it looks like the LED illuminator. And it's just hanging here. Anyway. So that's old security systems. But what happened was my this awesome radio and so my GoPro. Um the USB port where you not only charge the battery, but you Oh, I should have grabbed the right clippers. Hang on. Let me do this. Um the USB port 
decided to die on me. Ugh, that's no, anyway. So, I not only couldn't charge the battery, but, sweet, that's all. But I couldn't, um, I couldn't connect the videos to the computer without having to do it over Wi-Fi, and that takes like a month and a half per video. Not literally, but anyway, so I investigated my options, I started Googling it, and I saw that um, the, whatchamacallit, Ow. had, uh, lots of people online had had the same issue. Maybe it's just out of gas. Or maybe it wasn't on. Yeah. So lots of people that had the same problem, they had contacted GoPro, and GoPro had kindly sent them a FedEx label for them to box it up and send it back to GoPro. And then GoPro would kindly obviously take it apart and verify you didn't just kick it down a flight of stairs but they would verify that it was in fact the usb port had died because of faulty just it was only soldered to the board it wasn't screwed on or anything so they're in the process of sending me a new gopro like a whole brand new one battery new everything and i get to keep all the old stuff because all you have to send them is just the gopro so the video should be getting better soon. The poor old bike. Almost done. Um, yeah, so stay tuned. Alright, so I got my GoPro back from GoPro finally. And, uh, Fuck yeah. So, alright. Oh shit. So, alright, when you send something back to GoPro, they want you to just send the camera. No back, no battery. And, yeah, they sent me a new battery and another back. And it looks like a uh, brand new GoPro. Yeah, because I had a couple scratches here and there already. Um, so, yeah, the USB was bad. Um, apparently they've addressed the issue and uh, the ones that are shipping out for replacements have some kind of reinforcement on the USB port itself other than just solder so uh, yeah we'll test it out okay so uh, yeah this is the uh, new GoPro what's up little guy He's alive. So I took the $350 Jetta, posted it as is. The guy traded me for this. It's pretty fast. So yeah.